Arguably, Dragon Ball is one of the biggest anime TV shows ever. It was pioneering in showing off martial arts, which were showcased in the show's rapidly paced fight scenes. As a result, this created a fan base that is still alive and kicking today. In this video, we will look at what techniques Vegeta uses to fight. Of course, it's best to take things with a pinch of salt. Remember, Dragon Ball is purely fictional, so please don't take this video too seriously. Perhaps the most common fighting style used by Vegeta is Karate. You could also add Taekwondo to this list, as both styles look pretty similar with no gravity. Here, Vegeta often uses his supreme athleticism to his advantage and can hit some pretty hard roundhouse kicks to the opponent's head or body. As we often see, the power used in these kicks is literally otherworldly. Vegeta is an alien after all. If you watch many of Vegeta's fight scenes, his starting stance often resembles those trained in karate. This involves a lead leg with a matching extended arm, a crouching stance and resting arm in reserve. It's no coincidence that Vegeta prioritises this style either, seeing as the Dragon Ball writer, Akira Toriyama, claimed that he was inspired by 80s kung fu movies, which would go on to be the main fighting style used in the anime. Remember, karate may not be exactly the same striking as kung fu styles, but it was heavily influenced by it. Although not as commonly used as karate, Vegeta also favours Muay Thai, and has thrown his fair share of teep kicks in his time. The teep is designed to create distance when your enemy gets close. However, this isn't always used defensively by Vegeta, as he can generate enough power to use the teep offensively too. Unfortunately, Vegeta doesn't use many elbows, which are generally avoided within the Dragon Ball universe for some reason. However, on occasion, he has also thrown calf kicks, which are very popular in Muay Thai. Overall, it's good to mix things up and not be too reliant on karate. Even though Muay Thai and karate are both striking based martial arts, it's fair to say they still have a lot of clear differences between one another. Another obvious fighting style implemented by Vegeta is the use of Wing Chun. In fact, Wing Chun features regularly in Dragon Ball. Aside from kicks, you could even go as far to say that Wing Chun is the most commonly used martial art within the anime. The reason for this is that everyone seems to have incredibly fast hand speed and most people are experts in trapping. Vegeta is no different in this sense and many of his fights include lightning speed hand trapping and counter punches from close range. In many of his earlier fights against Goku, the two are locked in a Wing Chun battle of epic proportions. Here, they use their forearms to try and counter each other's movements and create offensive openings. From a punching perspective, rarely will you ever see regular boxing in Dragon Ball as it favours a more traditional approach. This may be why Vegeta is an expert at Wing Chun. In Dragon Ball, Tai Chi is often used as fighters will rely on it to win bouts. This taps into the Chi element of Tai Chi, which basically involves manipulating energy to your own advantage. Of course, in real life, no one has ever used Chi to hurt someone as it's physically impossible, at least in literal terms. However, this is Dragon Ball we are talking about and Chi is literally everywhere. You could argue that Vegeta's spirit fission attack is the best example of this. He uses the surrounding energy to charge up his attacks, which result in his opponents taking some pretty huge damage. This is an example of theoretically tapping into Tai Chi and using it to supercharge your attacks. Vegeta isn't alone in this, and we can often see the Chi surrounding fighters when their energy level is very high. In some of the later Dragon Ball series, we can see the evolution of Vegeta's fighting style 
and it's clear that he's incorporated new techniques. For instance, against Broly, he pulls off a neat judo throw. This shows the new choreography used in the show and how it has changed over the years. Gone are the days when Dragon Ball was purely striking based and although it's rare, it's clear to see that Vegeta does know some judo at the very least. It will be interesting to see if he continues to develop his judo in future series. At his heart, Vegeta is a street fighter and isn't formally trained as some of the show's other characters. For instance, we often see Goku train in a very formal way, which may explain why his technique is so strong. Whilst Goku was training on Earth, Vegeta was off fighting around the galaxy and pressure testing his skills against other tough fighters. Arguably, both learning styles are neither worse nor better than each other. However, it does explain why Vegeta has more of a raw style compared to the likes of Goku. In some cases, this may harm him, as his technique isn't quite as sharp. Having said this, street fighting can teach you dirty techniques that can be unexpected. As a result, fighting against Vegeta is never going to be easy, as he has huge amounts of experience. At the same time, Watching his classic fight against Broly, it's clear to see that Vegeta is still an incredibly skillful fighter, so even though he has received formal training, it's often combined with a hybrid style that implements plenty of real life experience too. Obviously, Vegeta is a very talented martial artist. Like many of his contemporaries, his style is also based on striking martial arts as opposed to grappling. Whilst this could make him less rounded, it appears that grappling is mostly disregarded in Dragon Ball anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. At the same time, Vegeta is still a master when it comes to striking. As he lives until hundreds of years of age, we should expect this anyway. In summary, Vegeta's fighting style mostly favours Karate and Wing Chun, but is also complemented with a bit of Muay Thai and Judo as well.